So what are we doing, Benz? We're doing a hurricane tasting party. That is right, my friends. And do we have some great recommendations coming your way. Now, check this out. I have a guest here in the show again, and this is going to be great. So if you're looking for a few great German beers and who will definitely make you look like a connoisseur, then join us on this tasting. My name is Eddie and this is Benz. And we have tasted many beers from all over the world and it is our passion to get you that perfect beer you're looking for. So whether you're looking to try something new or there is something very specific that you're looking for, we got your back. Welcome, Welcome back, back, beer lovers. Thank you for spending the next few minutes with us. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and this is my good friend, Ben. Check this <laughs> out. No. Check this stuff out. This is the guy that first got me started in this beer connoisseur journey since we were back. Back at Purdue. Back at Purdue. Remember those days? We're talking, uh, we were dating ourselves, but we're talking a little bit over 20 years ago. So this is the guy that really introduced me to what good beer is. And we've been, you know, sharing our opinions about beers for this, this past 20 plus years. And uh, we enjoy that. And on this channel, that's what I do. We, you know, we review beers. Um, we taste and sample beers from, you know, all over the world and give you our most honest opinion about them, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like the one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, Consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon down there so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. Now today, now t tell us a little bit because this is this is a great idea that Ben's had here. We we're definitely going back to Germany. You can see he's all you know he's I, all in character here. I am definitely ready for Oktoberfest. Ah, there you go. But we're not quite there yet. We're not First, quite there yet, right? Let's go taste this nice Erdinger Weiss beer. So that's right. We are going to Erdinger from Erding, and it's kind of like the end of the summer, right? So we're getting close to the end of the summer, so we decided let's still have summer beer to get this thing started. Now, check it out. We are going to use our Bison vase here, which is a glass we recommend that you use when you're pouring yourself a great Weiss beer like this one. And if you want to get your own set of beer connoisseur TV glasses, remember to check out the description below. See how you can get your own set. Now, while I'm pouring this, we're enjoying this nice spectacle that is happening here. And where do we always start, my friends? Benz, where do we always start? It's with the appearance, right? And more importantly, the three C's of appearance, which are color, Clarity, clarity and carbonation. carbonation that is right if you don't remember those you can check out the back of ben's teacher that's right, right <laughs> don't forget it yes there you go so um color okay let's start describing this for our for our audience here we have i don't know what do you call that uh bright how does that look like to you bright orange or pale yeah, bright orange yeah. yellowish orange yellowish little, orange little hazy but mostly clear yep it does have some some haziness so i was expecting it to be clear to be honest with you it does have some cloudiness in it and look at the carbonation man look at all those bubbles <laughs> there's like yeah. a it's like a party like of bubbles in there yep and look at that big head man so check that out i mean it's like wow and i haven't i haven't finished the the great can of course you know that anytime you have a you know a pine can it's always bonus points for for me but check this out big big head of fluffy white foam there. Now, let's go for the aromas then, right? Okay, and now I'll be honest with you, I've never had this beer, but Ben's here has had it before, so he probably knows a little bit more about it, but what do you pick up with those aromas there? Definitely the, the wheat and the yeast. It's really typical of Weiss beers and and lots of the, the wheats and hefeweizens from Germany. Absolutely, and, and a lot of the aromas, contrary to a lot of the, uh, you know, the American craft beers, they use the hops for the aromas. Like he mentioned, it's the yeast in this, in this beer. So, 
you can definitely feel a little bit of that banana, kind of like almost like a like a little bit of that fruity, fruity banana um, kind of like hint there. But just that nice malty base uh, uh, is, is what you what you can smell. Now, here, pour yourself some on your other glass there. So you can we can enjoy this experience together. And um, we will let you know what is what is happening with our taste buds here. So Cheers. Salud, man. Cheers. Oh, it's very creamy. I would call that very, very, yeah. Full bodied. Yeah, definitely. Good level of carbonation. Yeah, the first thing I felt, I felt was that, you know, lots of that carbonation. And then it kind of felt like that, kind of like syrupy almost, like creamy, definitely. That's, it actually has like a medium body. I expected it to be a lot lighter. Very refreshing though, don't you, don't you think? It is a very good summer beer. Yes. Nice and light and refreshing. And it does have just like a hint of that, look, a little bit of bitterness, kind of like towards the end. Yeah, got that, a little bit of a hop yeah, flavor, like does, right at the end. Right, right at the end, it does have that. And that all becomes important when we go to the next piece, which is the part that I always say rounds us up as connoisseurs, which is the food pairings. Now, today we have a feast here. So, you know, like I said, you know, we're with the, we're with the, with the theme of, of Germany, so... Ben's here said, let's get some pretzels and beer cheese. And he actually made this beer cheese here just a, you know, a few minutes ago. So I'm excited. We're going to see how that pairs. And we also have some bratwurst there, which you always know that I say, you know, when in doubt, go with the food from where the beer is from, right? So German beer, German food, let's try it. We'll let you know how that goes. So grab a piece of whatever you want there, whether it's the bratwurst. Let's start with the bratwurst. Yeah, start yes. with the brat. Start with the brat. It's a good, good brat. Okay. Not too spicy, but it's just the right. I say it's good. I mean, the beer, it doesn't have like a lot of, you know, you don't want to pair this beer with any bold food or anything like that because it's going to overpower the beer. So I think that brat for is kind of perfect right there in the yeah. sense of the balance of, of the flavors. What do you think? Yeah, you want it mild, something mild and not too spicy. Right, that's what I Lighter beers, because then, yeah, you, you just won't taste the wheat beer then. Exactly. So that's why I like the mild cheese sauce, the beer cheese. Let's try know, that now. pretzel. Yeah. There we go. Let's do that. So there you go. The brat worst is definitely um, bonus points there. And here we have the pretzel with the beer. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You can both fit in there. And this is the beer cheese that, like I said, he made it a few minutes ago. Very good. And the, the point is, you know, that carbonation also helps kind of like cleanse the palate. And you're ready to, to enjoy yeah. the next bite. That's a lot of what, you know, what these pairings are about is you just want to enjoy your food and your beer, right? You don't want one to overpower the other, so. Exactly, you, you want them to complement each other. Absolutely, this is good beer cheese, man. You did good here. Yeah, it is very German. Good theme today. Good theme today, absolutely. So, ah, that is good. So tell you what we're gonna do. What's so, you know, we're kind of like finishing the summer and then what's next? Let's get into the fall, and the big big one for beer is Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, right? So stay tuned, my friends. We're going to bring you something you're going to enjoy um, on the next episode. So, you know, we can, you can always trust me to leave you a great recommendation as far as a dessert pairing. So check out the description below. Open that, my gift to you. I hope we have helped you. You know, increase your beer knowledge as we all continue this journey of being beer connoisseurs. Like I said, 20 plus years we've been on this journey and, and obviously he's been longer. And, and hopefully 20 more. And at least, at least 20 more. And you know, it's, it's just a great journey to be on. So be on the lookout for that next episode when we review that Oktoberfest coming up. And until then, enjoy. Salute.